Jazz Punk is a first-person espionage puzzler that doesn't try to take itself too seriously. In fact, the game is so far from anything serious that it wouldn't be unfair to call the game a joke. But if you're the kind of person that likes a good joke, or a bad one for that matter, then Jazz Punk might just be the game for you. Have you made it? Taking place in a cyberpunk inspired alternate reality, you play as Polly Blank, a silent protagonist in a very loud and colourful world that's bursting with hyper stylized shapes and sounds. Whoa, where'd you get that crazy hand from? It's also a world inhabited by some very strange and surreal characters. The delectable theme now. The first of these you'll meet is your alcoholic agency director who works from a train carriage in an abandoned subway. He proceeds to send you off on a number of retro spy movie inspired missions to classic locales like a Russian embassy, tiki resort or sushi restaurant. And you'll do all of this via a healthy dose of hallucinogen missional. If this all sounds a bit too ridiculous then pull the emergency brake and get off now because the game only gets weirder and weirder and then a bit weirder again. Quick look behind you. You see, each of the five or so short chapters in Jazz Punk contains a main objective, like tailing someone or infiltrating a computer lab. But these serve as merely the catalyst for a whole assortment of weird and downright wacky distractions that make up the bulk of the game's appeal. Each environment is littered with interactions, just begging to be clicked on. Everything from double entendre dialogue with bystanders. Pick me up a MacGuffin and a coffee. Non sequiturs. Physical slapstick, Wilhelm scream included. Sight gags are plenty, as well as a heap of madcap mini games, ranging from fly swatting in a bar store, a cat scratching simulator, or my personal favourite, wedding quake, where you get to make your vows with a vengeance. Prenuptial agreement. <laughs> You can spend as little or as much time as you want hunting down these little easter eggs, but your desire to do so will depend greatly on your sense of humour, and that's because everything in jazz punk is trying very, very hard to make you laugh. I say trying because the sheer amount of jokes the game will throw at you can be a bit overwhelming at times, and when these gags hit their mark, they can be comedy gold. You're the best. But for every one that sticks, another three failed gags will usually just sail past without even as much as a chuckle. I have fourth degree burns all over my entire face. Other times, I found myself forgetting what the mission was because the game was so busy trying to distract me with what I was quickly discovering to be rather pointless diversions. Eventually, after being bombarded by every form of comedy the game could throw at me, I became a bit numb to it all, and a joke that would have been totally lull-worthy in the first chapter of the game, by the end, could only really muster up a forced, heh. <laughs> my gaping jowls. And while it's not entirely fair to criticise a game just for trying to make you laugh, when the rest of the game suffers for it, then it is hard to justify pushing through a slog of endless puns and juvenile punchlines. <laughs> As a game, without its sense of humour, jazz punk doesn't really have a leg to stand on. The puzzles are simple and rudimentary, the mini-games lack any punishment or reward system, and the introspective, self-aware story kind of falls flat when you compare it to more meta experiences in games like The Stanley Parable or Gravity Bone. I guess it is admirable to see a game focusing solely on comedy, because it is a hard thing to get right in video games, and it's this endearing determination to make you laugh that did help me look past a lot of jazz punk more glaring flaws. That said, the game lying beneath the gags here is only mildly entertaining at best, so I'm giving it five and a half out of ten.